Achievement Unlocked Reunion. What? Huh. What? 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 Well, I guess we're about to find out. The name is familiar, like a fond memory. She was my first love. I remember it so clearly now. Fact. Say that like a joke, but that's the plot twist to Rule a Rose. <laughs> uh -huh. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Four Pixels. Koku and Kimi are here with Leifle from Cacophony of Games and Buttons, and we're continuing the letter. Hey, have you have you met my friend? It's the uh, this <laughs> creepy girl. She's the guest of honor. She's so great. She looks She's like she could use some clear eyes. Mm -hmm. Looks like me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> have you met the guest of honor? It's Buttons. After she just woke up, <laughs> like that same like murderous look in the eye. Everything relatable, actually. Yeah, very relatable. Same. Okay. It is chilling, and though I am used to enduring the gaze of others, this one makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. My attention is pulled from the girl, and I see a woman staring. Dark-haired and dirty, she looks more like a beggar than a guest, and I have half the mind to call the security at her when her mouth breaks out into a grin. <laughs> All I hear is her laughing. Taunting. Her stare makes my blood run cold. She looks at me like I am nothing but a pig to slaughter for her amusement. It makes my hand shake, and I nearly drop my drink. But then, in a blink, she's gone, and the buzz of the party returns. Did she start with red wine, or did it change to red wine? She had an amber liquid. I think it might have just been because of the darkness that fell. Okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, sorry. I just thought I saw something strange. It must be the trick of the light. Anyway, on a right, as you must already know. Once again, just pretending that nothing happened. Uh, come on, Hannah, this is the second time. Third time, actually. I love that Becca has immediately transitioned into concerned mother mode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Rebecca Gales. Becca, the Gales, mom friend. Gales. Gales. Achievement unlocked. Reunion. What? Huh. What? 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 Well, I guess we're about to find out. The name is familiar, like a fond memory. She was my first love. I remember it so clearly now. Fact. Say that like a joke, but that's the plot twist to Rule a Rose. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I recall a kind lady, a private tutor, who treated me like her own daughter when I was young. She'd even bring me food when there was no need to do so. Usually stovies, which I honestly hadn't been too keen about, though I ate them nonetheless because she brought them for me. Oh, the oh, professor! Oh. And your little Becky! <laughs> oh. <laughs> little Becky. My parents couldn't make it since they're in Scotland right now. And Mom says hi, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, that's me. Little Becky. We met once before. And <laughs> now it says Becky. Yes, oh, that's, oh, that's so Becky. cute. You were the cutest little thing with glasses. And when we met, you were having boy 
troubles with this lab called something with an A. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bringing it back. What was it again? Aaron, Alan, Adele, Albert, Alexander. <laughs> close. Andrew? So close. So close. Very close. Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. The more I list off names, the more red and the more quiet Becky gets. Becky. She starts to look a bit miserable as her body language shows discomfort and stiffness. Perhaps I triggered a horrid childhood memory. Surely I hadn't been mean when she visited with her mother. I don't quite remember all of it. Ashton! Ash! That man is that boy! The same one. Oh, goodness me! Damn, after all these years! I can see why, though. He's quite dashing. <laughs> you don't really need to announce it to everyone with an earshot, oh. you know? Keep it Poor down. Becca. Poor baby. I'm so sorry, but it really is cute. I do really like the fact that um, she is listed as Becky because we were are in Hannah's point of view. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's a really cute like minor detail, think... but effective. Yes. I think they did that before with uh, Isabel too. Yeah. Ash hole. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that has been used by everybody in the group at least once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and a tad bit sad. Uh, so, uh, this is a nice party, Miss Wright. Please, honor is fine. We're friends of a sort, aren't we? We must be friends, seeing as I know also, about your up. little infatuation, uh, Becky. I would like to point out that she said Miss Wright mm -hmm. instead of Mrs. Which is the proper married form. Yeah, and even more interesting, Hana didn't correct her. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> it's just like, ah, former Mrs. Wright, <laughs> now Miss Wright. <laughs> How do you... uh, that might that might actually be a respect thing because Hannah's pretty young. Could be. But how do you write Miss Mrs. M R S R S. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Where is Mrs. M S? Or no, it's Ms. Well, Ms. That works too. Don't you worry, dearie. You'll have your happy ending yet. I'm not too concerned about that, am I? Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh? And what makes you think that? Doesn't everybody want their happy ending? The idea of happy endings sounds like they're just for fairy tales. And they are, sorta. I don't think you can just sit around, trapped in some tower, and hope for the best. If you love them, you have to fight for it, right? You're not just going to sit there and hope that everything will just fix itself on its own. Like everything. You have to work at it. <laughs> but what do I know? There is a grimace, although she starts to relax around my presence. How long has it been since we met as children? Certainly a long time. She was tiny back then, if I recall correctly. I'm sure the daughter of the two greatest professors I've ever known is smart enough to know what she's talking about. But have you told him how you feel? And it's been what? 20 years? 17, actually. Still a damn long time to have feelings for someone. 
Yep. Yep. But no, not yet. He can be a bit dense. That's an understatement. <laughs> I was hoping that maybe he'd notice on his own and... Well, that won't do. What if you two become husband and wife? He's not to be dense when he's sworn himself to another person. Why, you might just as well consider leaving before the day's even begun. If that happens, I'll have to give him a good ear bashing, won't I? Bless Whoever you. anyone ends up with, it's not going to be a perfect relationship anyway. There's going to be things you'll love and things you'll hate about the other person. We're just humans. It's funny. Here I am, trying to give you advice when you did the very same thing back then. Aww. I remember you giving me a makeover when we were still kids. And you were the first I told anyone about my... <laughs> crush. Oh, I wish we could see little, little Hannah and Re Rebecca. He's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> I do remember now that she mentions it. Did I give her that yellow summer dress or the pink blouse and petticoat? She must have kept some of what I said in mind. It feels ridiculous remembering all of that years later talking about boys and how they go crazy for pretty girls, as if it's some gospel every woman should adhere to. It was so easy to say such things then, with me not knowing any better. Relatable. Huh. I know, right? <laughs> Though, looking at her now, she must have kept some of what I said in mind. Perhaps I did say something good at that time, enough for her to take it to heart? But all that didn't matter the moment as I, in the moment as I mull over what she's just said in my head. What Becky told me is very different from what Marianne told me. There is no time to ponder over that, however, as a hush descends upon the once lively cr crowd. Ow. Cat, why? <laughs> my cat has suddenly decided, Mom, give me attention, as she starts clawing at my arm. Aww. Hold on. This is why Hana prefers dogs. <laughs> Alright, I pet her. Now she's happy. <laughs> <laughs> One pet, no more. One pet, no more. No pet, only pet. The music of the strings and the chatter slows to a grinding halt as the doors from the foyer open. The last of the latecomers should have arrived moments ago. And anyone else this late would simply be too embarrassed to show their face. Except, you know, that person. So, this can be only one person, or rather, one man. The on there is only one man who is audacious enough to arrive at his own party so late. Good evening, ladies and gents. Enjoying the party? Well, we were. Not so much now. Already drinking. I hope I'm not too late in welcoming you all to the right mansion. Unlike I, who was raised in the spotlight and simply grew used to its presence, he sought it out every chance he could, even when there was no spotlight that shone. And I'll never put it against him when he smells like that. Smells? Smiles. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when he smells like alcohol. <laughs> uh.
sorry, the screen is grainy, so it's just like, eh, that looks like smells, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, because he probably reeks of alcohol at this point. He did so quite brilliantly under the scrutiny when he channels his showmanship. You can tell by the way people's eyes light up as he speaks. How they listen, enraptured, even if all he's doing is a simple greeting. Sounds like a cult leader. God, I hate him. A little wave of his hands here, a little smile there, and a bit of swagger. I always tell him that if he's... If he's not to be a businessman, he'll do well as an entertainer. I love this side of him, especially when he looks at me and he beckons me over to humbly share his place. Not a single second is wasted as I excuse myself from Becky's side and I make my way to Luke's. Ugh. Welcome one and all to our humble abode. Kill me. Tonight, if you have yet to find yourself in your roles, you are our ladies and lords of the court of your king and queen. If you would excuse my presumptuousness. <laughs> Ugh. So, enjoy the feast that has been laid out for your senses as we only allowed the best to be served. Enjoy the rest of your night, everyone. Crawling back into the hole you came from. Yeah, the wine cellar. Exactly. That's where he's been all this time. Exactly. Literally a hole. <laughs> there is a round of applause and cheers and even some hoots. And a root -toot -toot. <laughs> Guests approach us left and right to share, shake Luke's hand and greet him personally, praises on their lips. It is because of this that I do not see her. Ooh, I do not see her until she is dangerously close, with fury in her eyes, and she's already spitting venom. <laughs> what the hell? It's Rochelle, I think. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. okay. might be. Johannes restrains her, taking care not to unnecessarily harm the pregnant woman. Mm -hmm. I like her hair. It's very bright. Yeah. But that does little to deter her rage, and the man has no choice but to let her go, lest an unborn child is hurt. Although it might be too late for that, as I see an emptied glass of wine in her hand. Oh, do we have- Girl, you drinking? We have a new journal entry. Oh, boy. The Wright Mansion officially opened its doors with a grand housewarming feast. Zachary Steele, Ashton Oh wait, Fred, I just and... saw that has- <laughs> Sorry! That is another instance in which the journal told us thing which did not yet be- well, has not yet been revealed, but in the story. At oh. the second- good thing, my dis good thing my Discord was like freaking out and not letting me be able to read the whole thing, so I'm still spoiler free. Okay. Good thing my <laughs> Discord is so blurry that I could barely even read the text. Alright, let's continue with the scene first. Although it might be too late, a bit too late for that, as I see an emptied glass of wine in her hand, because she's been drinking. How much has she imbibed in? Are you feeling ill, Rochelle? Perhaps you need to sit down and... No! Shut it, you monster! I ain't talking to you! I'm talking to this scumbag Ooh. over here! You're not wrong. You bloody bastard, standing there with your smarmy smile! She interrupts me, jabbing her finger in my direction before she rounds on Luke. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna guess the baby's Luke's. Yeah, that's my guess too. Even as whispers and murmurs break out among the guests, all I can focus on is the heat of the moment. Obviously intoxicated, judging by the smell of alcohol on her breath. I'm not ticked off about this display of her, this little display of hers. At least not yet. I relate spiritually to Hannah's face in this frame, though. <laughs> But I am absolutely pissed by the fact that she'd endanger her own baby by drinking. There is a considerable amount of restraint and grace that I must exercise while I wait for her tantrum to subside. I keep a patient, if tight, smile on my face. Luke's expression, on the other hand, is indecipherable. Watch your tongue! You're on thin ice, Rochelle! Where's your husband? Who even invited you? I did. And I told you with great emphasis not to. Now we have a drunk, hormonal, pregnant woman causing a stir. <laughs> What is even going on? Hmm. Is there a reason why we wouldn't want to invite the wife of the chief of police, who is apparently your friend? Hmm? Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't Ro aren't Rochelle and Hannah besties? Yeah, like it's pretty much the other situation. Like Hannah hates Lee. And likes Rochelle, and Luke likes Leon, hates Rochelle. He hates Rochelle. Yeah. I don't know if so much it's hating, because then yeah. it might just be hate fucking. Yeah, I was, go I was gonna say something. And... <laughs> I mean, that, that's how it was described before, but yeah, I think yeah. we. <laughs> what? What? No, 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 no. Nope, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am just know. about to ask that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. <laughs> but Rochelle, do calm down before you hurt yourself. I can't understand a word you're saying. Where is that husband of yours? Lee, collect your wife right now. Don't you fucking talk like I'm not here and you're not responsible, you ass. You told me that I should wait for Ooh. you in the gardens! <gasps> Excuse me! Oh. What is this nonsense you're going on about? Crazy talk! That's all it is! Just completely and utterly mad! Has anyone seen the Chief Inspector? I am pregnant! With your little bastard, you Called promised it. me you'll take responsibility. God damn it, Luke! I finally got you to talk to me after months of silence, what? and you do this to me. What? What? What do you mean you're pregnant with? Luke, is this true? Lies and slander, woman! Security! Johans, take her out of here before she makes an even bigger fool of herself! No, no, you do not do this to me! I was so ready to leave my stupid oaf of a husband. I told you to leave that damn wife of yours. Look at her. Does she look like she wants a baby? Does she look like she could take care of a baby? Damn. Woo! Wow. 
well then. With that, we will end this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ben. Ben, what do you do? Break in. You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Okay. Okay. That was helpful. And I'm back, but I actually can't see the previous comment, so I'll have to go into the into the into the thing here. How is the thing where I can see them? Broadcast settings? Oh yeah, view comments. What were you all talking about me? What were you all talking about, I mean? I missed so many comments. Oh no, not that many. Uh, running with scissors, okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 